today I'm going to do a quick before and after video of installing the Kony FSD shocks on my 1996 Winnebago Brave. It's built on the Ford F53 chassis. Right now it's got the, best I can tell, the original shocks that came on this vehicle you know, 22 years ago. No specific problem I've had with the shocks. So over the last four years I've been slowly trying to make little improvements to this vehicle and I've replaced all of the front and rear sway bar bushings pretty recently and that made a, a dramatic improvement to the RV listing side to side um, while trying to drive in a straight line. It's a lot, it stays a lot firmer on center now. So the only kind of the next place to, to really improve the handling seems to be in the shocks. Going through pavement transitions, it really just crashes through that stuff. And I think installing some new shocks will probably help that out a lot. There's a stretch of interstate pretty close by that we're going to go drive on that has some of the worst expansion joints that we find in East Tennessee. We're going to go drive through those before swapping the shocks. We're going to see if we see any, any improvement after putting the new shocks on. Go swap some shocks and see what kind of improvements we find. So I finally got those shocks changed out. It took about four times longer than I thought it would. You know, it's a pretty simple installation. There's just a bolt at each end of each shock. All of the bolts are pretty accessible. Now the real problem is just that. They are gigantic bolts. It took a ton of torque to get them all loose. And the nuts are distorted thread nuts, so it takes a lot of torque to turn them the entire length of it. So it's not like you can't break it loose and then just spin it off real quick. It takes a lot of effort the entire way through the bolt. But this is actually the second day, so I was really wanting to do a, a quicker back-to-back tests so that I would have firmer in my memory exactly what the old shocks felt like and because I don't have a whole lot of time it's gonna be a shorter test drive than I intended but so far um, no no dramatic difference that this upgrade is one that I would suggest you have to do 
but you know if you need new shocks anyways absolutely go ahead and spend the money on these um, especially if you're paying somebody to install them the, the total price difference uh, the percentage price difference is gonna be kind of small and you know if you're looking at just upgrading them because you want them to be better then you know there might be a, a better seven hundred dollars you could spend on your RV but I really think this is a pretty pretty good seven hundred dollars spent I can say with some certainty that these shocks are definitely an improvement over the stock ones. Whether or not it's $700 worth of improvement, well, depends on how much you value $700, I suppose. Well, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any other questions about the installation and uh, any other specific questions about the rod. Thanks.